All right, so this is how you're going to use the Ohm's Law equation. Sorry, I think it just started over. Uh, this is how we're going to use the Ohm's Law equation. All right, the one that we just learned in the lab. So let me put the pen on. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is read the problem. All right, the resistance in a circuit is 10 ohms when a 9 volt battery is attached. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to pick out is what these things are, probably by the units, right? So remember, okay, uh, resistance is measured in ohms. Current is measured in amps. And voltage is measured in volts. Okay, so make sure you know those things when you see them in the problem. All right, uh, so you're always going to use this equation. Okay, I equals V over R. If you'd like to use it in this form, V equals IR, that's fine also. It's the same difference. It doesn't matter. All right, so in this one, um, the givens are going to be the resistance is 10 ohms, okay, and the voltage is 9 volts. All right, so then the missing thing is the uh, current. You know, it doesn't ask for it, which is kind of random. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and use it in this form for sure because it's already solved out for current. Okay, so V is 9 volts, that's the voltage, divided by 10 ohms, all right, and so then the current is going to be 0 0.9 amps, okay, because a volt over an ohm makes an amp, all right. So first thing you do is solve out for the current. Um, if the resistance is increased to 30 ohms, what voltage battery would be needed to keep the same current, all right? So I want to keep the current at 0 0.9 but I want um, to increase the resistance. So we know that that's going to make the current do what? Okay, if it's harder to travel through the circuit because the resistance is more, then that means the current is going to go down. Okay, to keep that from happening, the battery would have to push harder to keep that current at the same rate. Okay, so current's going to get a one because I want it to be the same. All right, my uh, resistance has tripled because it's gone from 10 ohms to 30 ohms. So my voltage would have to also triple, right? Because one equals three over three. Okay, so I'm looking for the voltage. So that's going to be three V. Okay, three times the original uh, voltage was nine. Okay, so the new voltage would be 27. Okay, all right. So my sentence would be um, to keep the same current. Oh man, this is hard to write. Okay, if the resistance triples, okay, the voltage must triple. I'm sorry for Miss Madrano's kids because her handwriting is so much nicer. Okay, all right, um, and then we're asking our resistance and voltage directly or inversely related. Okay, so we haven't seen that yet. Okay. Um, so resistance tripled, voltage tripled, okay, so those are going to be directly related, okay, because if the resistance triples, the voltage triples, that means they're both going up, all right, that's how we would know, okay, all right, um, so let's do another one, number two. Okay. All right, let's see this one, okay? All right, um, a six volt battery drives a current of 0.3 amps through a resistor in a circuit, okay? A bit of a fatter pen here, let's try another color. Okay, all right, uh, so I have to look at my numbers and see what they're gonna tell me, okay? So six volts is gonna be the voltage, all right? And if I see amps, it says a current of three amps, I know that's gonna be the current, sorry, 0.3 amps, okay? So my unknown then is gonna be the resistance because that's what is missing. All right, so I can use the equation in either format. Okay, V equals IR. Let's just start with this one, just for the sake of doing some algebra. Okay, I wanna move the resistance to the top because that's what I'm solving for. When it's under the bottom, that's not helpful. Okay, so see, this is how I get the V equals IR that you see from before. All right, if I wanna solve for R, I'm gonna to need to get rid of the I. So I'm gonna divide I on both sides. And that cancels, so now I have a new equation, which is R equals V over I. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, R equals, it's 6 volts, 
okay, divided by 0 0.3 amps, all right, and let's see. Okay, so 6 divided by 0 0.3, yeah, that's what I thought it was, 20, is going to be 20, whoops, okay, ohms, because it's a resistance, remember, that's a Greek letter omega, okay. All right, so that's to solve it. Now, what will the current be if the voltage is doubled, but the resistance stays the same, okay? So I'm looking for the current. Uh, the voltage is gonna be doubled, all right? And the resistance is gonna stay the same, okay? So let's think about it in terms of the circuit. If the circuit is just as easy to get through as it was before, but the battery's pushing twice as hard, what's that gonna do to the charges, okay? They're gonna go at twice the rate they did before. Okay, remember, we're trying not to say faster because it's not faster, okay? All right, uh, so I'm looking for two times the current, okay? Two times the original current was 0.3 amps, so my new current is going to be 0.6 amps. All right, and the written description, um, if the resistance stays the same, okay, but the voltage doubles, right? That means the battery's pushing twice as hard, then the current will double, right? Twice as many charges will be able to get through per second. All right, okay, and our current and voltage directly are inversely related, okay? So let's see what happened to them. So when the voltage doubled, the current doubled, all right? So those two are going to be directly related, because if one goes up, the other one went up also. Okay, current went up when voltage went up. Those are directly related. All right, okay, that's it. All right, so you're on your own for the rest of them. Um, hopefully we'll post an answer key at some point, uh, but do the best you can and help each other out.